Hello world, it's Mr. Resistor here again, continuing our Alpha Nubro experience. Um, Alright, so, uh, exciting news today. Our uh, daily login reward was a destroyer skill book. So, <clears throat> uh, we are... Gonna go ahead and inject that, and we'll inject that, and oh yeah, we got one of these too. <coughs> Galente shuttle. All right. <coughs> okay. Um, so we're finished with that, and today we are again a bit short on time, and so we are going to uh, focus on combat. Uh, so we can get our skilling spree points for today. And uh, so uh, I believe we're just going to be doing this one mission. So let's check our fit real quick. <clears throat> Is there anything? And Is there anything we've gotten that we want to add on to this? Ship. I don't think so. All right. So off we go. <clears throat> and, uh, while we're warping to location, I'm going to actually start this uh, Inmistar Destroyer training. I believe uh, we will get as a reward later on uh, a slasher or a, um, sorry, a thrasher, I mean. Uh, which is the Mimitar gun uh, focused destroyer. Alright, that'll be it for now. Um, <clears throat> it's a good ship. I have used it a lot. The other one, which I tend to like a little bit more these days. Um, is the Talwar, which is a missile destroyer. Um, and that's mostly just because I'm kind of lazy, and I like to uh, sit back and snipe things at range. Um, and missiles are Missiles are better at that, just in general, than uh, than guns are. Artillery can get decent range, but just doesn't compare to missiles. Uh, that said, um, you know, there's really there's really no wrong choice as far as weapons go um, to a certain extent it's really just situational you know who are who are your enemies gonna be what resist do they 
however they shield tanked or armor tanked um, you know all of those are going to be factors in deciding uh, what the best damage type is uh, for any given situation um, that said uh, missiles are very flexible um, they can basically do all damage types um, but auto cannons uh, or projectile weapons, I guess I should say, uh, auto cannons and artillery, um, also have those options, right? Obviously, I'm using uh, EMP ammo right now, which does um, electrical damage, which is effective against shields. And they always do a little bit of uh, kinetic and explosive, I believe. Um, so, you know, um, but it's still, it's, uh, I, I don't know as much uh, about hybrid and lasers, but it, if I remember correctly, um, they're a little bit more uh, restricted in their damage types. my targeting skill so I can have more things targeted at a time. Alright, get some esk. This one's taking a while. I'm thinking about it. I should maybe check my salvaging skill. Yeah, it's maxed out. I probably checked that uh, previously. the downside of alpha those limited skills <clears throat> yeah while we're waiting on this I thought I might talk about why exactly I'm saving all my uh, unallocated points here and that's uh, because alpha clones uh, have a maximum skill point that you can train to, and that is 5 million. Uh, <clears throat> once you hit that maximum, though, you can still train uh, using unassigned skill points. Uh, and skill injectors. So that's what I'm saving all of those for. Um, and 
and uh, probably by the time we get to 5 million, let's see, let's say where we're at. Yeah, so we're at 1.6 million right now. Um, so we've got uh, we've got a ways to go before we hit that cap. Um, and uh, yeah, so so once but once we do hit the cap, uh, then we'll start using those points that we've saved. Um, and you know, hopefully by then we'll have a clear idea of where we want to go with this character. Um, <clears throat> of course, um, our goal is uh, to complete everything in the air career program. So, um, as you can see, we've got a long ways to go. Uh, like Explorer is probably what we're closest on, but, um, you know, combat sites uh, can be difficult to run. Um, I guess we're close on Project Discovery. Um, you know, our the easiest ones, right, it's going to be uh, combat, just destroy enemy ships. Um, uh, bounties, that just takes time. Um, Epic Arc, uh, we'll probably do Sisters of Eve uh, at some point. <clears throat> um, loyalty points uh, also will just come with time. Um, security Agent, uh, that's just running 20 level 1 security missions, which we will absolutely do. Um, and then, uh, oh, in conjunction, there's a view on the Soldier of Fortune list that'll uh, go along with that. So, the combat one here is kills with different types of ships. Um, There was another one over here that would also nope just the one all right we'll get to some social stuff later um at some point i will join a corp a player corp um <coughs> probably my own uh for the short term the one that uh my main runs it's just a just a solo corp only my own characters in there although i suppose if other people wanted to join they'd be welcome but uh yeah um <clears throat> for now uh, uh one of the main reasons for that is uh tax benefits All right so if we go here to transactions um, we can see, uh, that we're paying taxes for all of our, uh, agent, uh, mission rewards. And that goes to our corporation. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's 11% for NPC corporations. Um, <clears throat> usually for player corporations, it's lower. Um. But even in the cases where it isn't, um, you know, that money is going to things that are useful, like uh, ship replacement um, or uh, keeping stations running, that kind of stuff. Whereas, when you're paying taxes to an NPC corporation, that's just money down the drain. Uh, 
warp drive active. Losing standings, okay. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. for us next. Retrieve the VIPs. Uh, I'd fight some people if I were called correctly. Alright. We'll claim our reward. And then we will call it a day. So, until next time, have a good one.